if you can't hear me, but I've just come out of the river to do a bit of um, try and find some mackerel, and there was thousands and thousands of, uh, of birds over here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's uh, get some feathers in there and see if we can get some mackerel, or hopefully some bass. Well, whatever's down there, I've got one. Yes! It's the first macro in the Solent. Oh, the camera's a bit all over the place. Try and get some more. Put him in a bucket in a minute. Oh, I better do it now. To be fair. That's decent. There's a few more down there. Oh. Is the water clarity is a lot better here than what it is in cows. I don't know why, but you can see your see your feathers a lot further down than what you can over there. And I'm literally in the middle of thousands of birds. Yeah, I, yeah like I said, I've never seen this amount of birds. So there's got to be more down there. Get some more fresh bait, and then we'll go try and find see if we can get a bass or some bream. little schoolie. Oh, I can literally see the white bait and the mackerel in the water. I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna see if I can take this down there. See the white bait swimming past the uh, swimming past the boat underneath the boat. Hopefully, you've got some of that footage underneath there and can actually see them. But I can see the mackerel right there. Oh, hopefully, you've got some of that footage underneath the water, but they are splashing everywhere. I can see them. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but literally, you can see them just under the water there. Would you believe it though? Ooh. There's got to be more mackerel under there. They're all, I think most, all, the only things I can see are bass. Obviously I've caught one mackerel, but, oh yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, we're in. Please be a mackerel. literally loads of little schoolies. Just want a couple more. Oh, I really hope that footage underneath the water has come out. Just want a couple more uh, mackerel and we'll get down to 
get an anchor and start bait fishing. Try and let it down a little bit deeper, see if the mackerel are underneath them all. But you can see that the water's glittering where they're just smashing the white bait in. This is what most of them are. Just need to try and get some more mackerel, really. But literally jumping all around the boat. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh thank God for that, you come off. Still again only a small bass. Time to move on, I think. It's just loads of these. I can't leave though. <laughs> I don't want to leave because I know. There's got to be some macro around there somewhere.
please be a mackerel. Oh, luckily it come off again. <laughs> right, I think it's mostly bass, so let's go get let's go put the anchor down and try and get some baits in there. Okay, so we're at anchor now in some good water I think off Gernard. Like well there's the, there's the ledge boys over there, you probably can't see it. But the first bait that's going down is the mackerel I just caught. The mackerel head and gut. We're in like 56 foot of water. Okay, that's the mackerel head down. I'll show you where we're fishing on the Navionics. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this properly, but we're fishing just here, where that red arrow is, in like a hole. Obviously the ledge is running out there, and uh, yeah, we're in the thick of it. It's uh, some quite good tide at the moment. Uh, it's just that it's high tide now, so we're gonna fish all the way down. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks like fast tide, it looks flat everywhere apart from here it's a bit lippy that's obviously because we're in this hole and hopefully it produces some fish i mean look you, i don't know if you can see over there but look but anyway yeah uh that's the mackerel head down for some bream uh, for some for the bass sorry i need to get a free hook a free hook trace down there or two hook small squid bait for some um bream hopefully already got a bite straight away on the mackerel head I was only lifting it up to see if it was on the bottom and it was quite a decent bite. Yeah, fish on. feel like a bass. Hopefully it's not a dogfish, that'd be embarrassing. Fingers caught in there. I'm gonna have to get a tea bar for that. Don't know how big it is, but don't know if you can see that because the sun's behind me. But yeah, it's not too bad. First cast, first five minutes, and I've never caught one so. Didn't even get a chance to get the other rod down. Same mackerel head. Literally been fishing here 10 minutes. 
I ain't even got this. I ain't even managed to get another rod in the water yet. I mean, I'm not complaining, but. Oh, it's gone oily slick, the water. Lovely day. Oh, guess what it is? Bloody conga. Oh, I would get it on board, but oh, I just hate them. My little um, bream rig. I'll just put it over and straighten it out before I show you. I don't know if you can see that. It's just three hooks with uh, three bits of squid on it with small hooks. It is quite long though, I mean, uh, yeah. See if you can get a bream with that for dinner. Oh, this weather is unbelievable. Sounds like the real needs a service. Right, let's get the big rod, big rod back down. I need to get that bass. I uh, obviously caught this mackerel a minute ago when I was fishing with them birds, and I cut the head off, and that's what I had that uh, conga, and before that I had that bullet. But look, look, I've just noticed. After I cut the head off, that's obviously what it was eating when I caught it, and what it was chasing where all them birds were. Just had a bite on the uh, little scratching rod for uh, the bream. Fish on, but I think it's a dogfish. Definitely ain't a bream. Oh, please don't be a conga. It's fighting back a little bit, so I don't know. Coming up in the tide quite far back. Another bullet. caught one in my life and end up catching two in 10 minutes. Oh, that one's bigger. Let me just get the hook out and I'll show you. Uh, that's the second bullet. I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see that. I don't know, maybe four or five pound maybe. 
Nice. I can't believe it's been sick all over my boat though. I just had another bite out there, guys. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can turn it. Oh, you can see it, yeah. I'm not going to sit down and have, a, have something to eat in a minute. I mean, I'm not complaining. It sounds like I am, but I'm not. It's been non stop. We've only been here literally not long. Seems like I'm in the right spot at the moment. It's absolutely flat calm out here. Probably one of the best days that I've had on this new boat. Wham. I feel like that I'm casting back into a hole because it takes a long time for it to hit the bottom. A long time. I mean, I'm fishing in what 55 foot of water and it's more than that. So, oh, there it is. He's back. It's always the case, isn't it? You always get a bite and nothing. You put it down, you get another bite, and then you pick it up and you get it, and then it doesn't do anything. So terrible. Sorry, I had to take the top off. It's bloody hot. No, you don't want to see it, but we're just going to have a decent bite on this one. Got like a, the um, tail of a mackerel on there. But I didn't think struggling. It's not. It's not on the bottom. It's like they're on the bottom. Then I get a bite, and then it's just floating in the in the, in the tide. I don't know if this one's on the bottom. I'm going to have to put bigger leads on. That current is strong. First bite in a while. I think it's a dogfish, but... tide's running quite fast now and I don't think I'm holding bottom. I've got like a pound and a half of lead on. I'm in like 50 foot of water. 
but uh, obviously Gernard is renowned for fast tide. But, I mean, that just goes to show that it is on the bottom, but my scratching rig for the bream isn't. So I might have to try and up-tide it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well, I just had a decent smooth hound on, on my uh, bream rig. And it's just come off at the boat. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I've got a rod out there for the big fish. I want this for the bream, look at that. I did not know that this boat... Look what I've just found in the cabin. Should have been wearing this all day to be fair. Yeah. Well, after that smooth round straightened out my hook, I haven't had many more bites. Well, none actually. I don't know whether to move round to cows, just round the corner, or hold it out for a bit. I'll change back down to um, down tiding, and I'm, I am holding bottom now. The tide must have eased a little bit. But, um, but yeah, other than that small, other than that smooth round on the on the scratching rig, I haven't had much else. Them two bull husks were straight on, literally the first five minutes. Like well, I couldn't even get two rods down. Um, but yeah, I think I'll give it another 20 minutes and we'll see, maybe half hour, I might have to move. I mean, the conditions are unbelievable. You can, it doesn't get much better than this. But yeah, hopefully we get some more fish. As soon as I said that... As soon as I said I didn't have a bite, it seems like a decent smooth round, I think. I reckon it was... Oh. I reckon it was a lucky hat, you know? Oh, this feels like a big smooth round. As soon as I put the hat on, I get this, so this is staying on. Staying deep, so it means it's a half decent one. Oh yeah. Ah. There we go. I don't know if you can see any of this because the, the sun's just behind me. But hopefully, yeah, it's a nice move around. Not very big. Probably the tide, I think the tide made it seem a bit bigger, but but yeah, I don't know, maybe six, six pound maybe. It's not bad. Get him back because he's bleeding a little bit. Oh, yeah, he went straight back. Nice.
this hat done the business I think as soon as I put it on I had that bite so we need it oh look at the state of my boat I just need a bass excuse me a bass or a green dinner the missus won't be happy if I come home empty-handed it's had this bite on a scratching rod bass or a breed. Feels like a smart. Smarts get a bit boring after you catch a few. You know, it's fun. It's fun. Oh, it's not even a smart. It's an eel. I don't know what's worse, to be fair. I can't say that. I do like catching smarts and eels when they're big. But when you're trying for bass and mat and uh, bream, especially on a scratching rig, and this is like a boot lace as well. I'm just going to T-bar him off at the edge. I can't. gone. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously you can't pick what you catch, but still need that bass. We keep going, don't we? Well, we haven't had many bites <clears throat> after that. After that eel on the uh, on the scratching rig for bream. I haven't managed to catch any bream or bass for the table. So Mrs. won't be happy. No, I'm joking. Um, there's blood all over the deck. Um, and I've got to buy some more batteries for the GoPro because I've got 14%, so I'm going to finish this up. Um, <clears throat> I'm no professional. I'm not a professional fisherman. I'm not a professional cameraman. I've literally just bought a boat and a GoPro. I'm going to do some videos. Um, some videos of fishing. I'm going out fishing trips. I'm going to do needles trips with me and my mate are going to the needles on the weekend this Saturday. So I'll be doing a video there. Um, and yeah, hopefully catch some decent fish in the summer. I know it's still early, but the water temperature has gone up by about six degrees, six, seven degrees. So the fish are there, the hounds are in, the bass are about. Oh, I haven't managed to get one yet, but I have over there, but only small ones, nothing that I can keep. So yeah, more videos to come. I, like I said, I'm no professional. I'll probably do a lot of things different to everyone else. Probably do things wrong. Like, I've just actually remembered not wearing a life jacket and I haven't worn one all day. That's not good. Um, but yeah, so there'll be needles trips. I'm gonna try and catch some sharks as well off the back of the island. Uh, so hopefully, I'll be doing some more videos soon. I'm going to wrap this up, I'm going to reel these in, lift up the anchor and uh, head on home. Even though it's such a nice day and I'd rather stay out here. But it's got to come to an end. Well, I was just reading in, reading in the rod to uh, go home. And I've got a, quite a large edible crab. So I'm going to check the size, the legal size, and see if I can take that home. 
At least I caught something I can have for dinner.